a One Piece game where you can create your own character, create or join your own crew, and explore and fight on the seas of the One Piece world. That would be the perfect One Piece game for me. What's good YouTube, Red Ronnie here, and today I'm going to dive deeper into how Impel Down will work in my dream One Piece game. This is part of an ongoing series in which I break down game mechanics and features out of my One Piece game idea. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to stay updated. So far, we've talked about creating your own character in the fighting styles, hockey, the fruits, and the islands. And with about 4 videos left to go for One Piece, I think it's time I talk about one of my favorite ideas for this game, Impel Down. So as fans of the series know, Impel Down is the world government's underwater maximum security prison for the most dangerous and wanted criminals in the world of One Piece. It's one of the most interesting places in the series and will be even more so in this game. With its different levels, crazy NPCs, and functionality, Impel Down will make for one of, if not the most chaotic location in the game. So without further ado, let's discuss Impel Down in the perfect One Piece game. Like always, before we start, remember to drop a like if you liked the video and go watch my previous One Piece videos before you finish this video to get a good idea of everything I'm talking about. Alright, so I know this video is supposed to be mainly dealing with Impel Down and how it works, but in order to talk about Impel Down, I'm going to have to talk about the process of players getting there, and that starts with capturing and arresting criminals. So as I said in the previous video, players of any faction, whenever they defeat someone in a fight and downing them, they would be given the option to either capture or execute them. Now obviously, if the player chooses execute, they just kill the enemy and of course they'd respond somewhere else and that'd just be that. But if a player chooses capture, then they tie the enemy up or put them in sea prism stone handcuffs if they're marine, and they'd basically have the enemy as a prisoner where they could pick them up or force them to move in a certain direction. Think Red Dead Redemption. Now this option is available to do for literally any player of any faction for multiple different reasons, but for this video we're focusing solely on marine and bounty hunter players using it to capture and transport criminals to impel down. So once the player defeats and captures the criminal or criminals, they'd be put on their ship and would be tasked to transport them to the nearest marine base. There, the marine player would get paid the bounty for turning in the criminal and the criminal would be transported to impel down on a ship with many other captured criminals. This actually allows me to talk more about the marine faction because the ships being escorted to Impel Down wouldn't just have NPC marines on the ship to take care of the criminals, it would actually be marine players and groups tasked with taking the prisoners who will also be players to Impel Down. Also, when transferring criminals to the marine base and then Impel Down, if the criminals were part of a pirate crew slash alliance or a revolutionary army member, the other members of their group would be able to see that they've been captured and could go and try to intercept the ship from getting to Impel Down. Now again, the crew will only be notified, they wouldn't be required to save another member, especially if they think it was too dangerous or risky. Also, aside from pirate crews coming to intercept the ship, marine ships escorting criminals will have to deal with or avoid the sea kings and monsters of the calm belt during the mission because that's where Impel Down is located. Now this could be avoided if the ship goes through two of the three gates of justice in both Marine Ford and Indy's lobby respectively. That way the ship could instantly get to Impel Down from those two locations. But depending on where they are taking the prisoners from, it could be more convenient to just head straight to Impel Down. So once the ship gets to Impel Down, the marine players would just drop off the prisoners, leaving them with the NPC guards and would go on their way. There would be a cutscene with Magellan, Hannibal, and Sadie greeting the prisoner and telling them why they are there. The prisoners would then be put in prison clothes and then be taken to their assigned cell on their assigned floor level. The floor level a prisoner is placed on hinges solely on their bounty amount. Players with a bounty of at least 5 million barriers will be placed on level 1. If they have a bounty of at least 15 million, they will be placed on level 2. 50 million will give you level 3. 75 million will give you level 4. 100 million will give you level 5. And 300 million will give you level 6. Just like in the series, each of the 6 levels will have its own way of torturing prison players. Every 10 minutes, the prisoners will be released from their cell and forced to participate in the level's torture for 10 minutes. On level 1, the Crimson Hail, Prisoners will be forced to run around the Crimson Forest, which will have trees and grass that are as sharp as blades, which will damage players coming in contact with them, all while running away from poisonous spiders and prison guards with guns. Now really quick, before I get into the rest of the levels, remember that these are just tortures, so the prisoners aren't meant to die at the hands of these creatures or guards. Once a prisoner's life is completely depleted, they wouldn't die and respond out of jail. They respond back in their cell, waiting on the next time their cell opens to do the torture again. 
It would be this way because remember that this is a game. So killing prison players and allowing them to respawn out of the jail would be doing them a favor. So this way it actually makes it a torturing experience. Level two would be the wild beast hill. Players will be chased through the level by big wild beasts. These beasts would be extremely powerful and will only not attack a player if they didn't leave their cell. The level will also have a boss and mini boss, those being the Sphinx and Basculus respectively. Level 3 is the Starvation Hill. So in this series, level 3 is pretty much just a desert level where the prisoners are barely fed any food and are dehydrated from the intense heat from level 4, which will obviously be a pretty gruesome torture in real life, but for a game where even though there would be a hunger bar, there really wouldn't be anything on this level to make players annoyed or unhappy, which is the point of this place by the way. So I'm actually kind of stumped and want to ask you guys, how can you make level 3 a torture for a video game player? The best I could come up with is that players will be hit with a weakness status for the entire time that they're on the level and it would cause them to walk slowly and defeat it. I don't know, I'm, I'm stuck. Level 4 is the Blazing Hill. Players will be forced to carry logs to fill the big pool of boiling blood in the middle of the level. And then once they're done, they will be thrown in the pool to be burned to death, just to respawn 10 minutes later and do it again. This is also where Magellan resides in the prison, and occasionally he chased players through the level with his double fruit powers, serving as a boss that could be defeated, but it would be rare for it to happen given most players in the level would be much weaker than him. And even if he is defeated, he will just come back again another time. Level 5 is the Freezing Hill. Players here will be forced to transverse an icy landscape while being chased by savage packs of wolves. The freezing landscape will cause players to occasionally become frozen for a few seconds. And finally, level 6, the Eternal Hill. The lowest level of all of Impel Down. Players here wouldn't actually be forced to do anything since this is much less a torture and more so a holding cell in the series. But for this game, players would just be forced to sit in their cell chained up, waiting. They couldn't do anything besides sit there. This in itself is a torture. Now I already hear some of you thinking, man this would suck if you got put in there. Players wouldn't want to do all that work. But here's the thing, players will also have multiple ways to escape Impel Down as well. So there would be three ways to escape Impel Down. The first way being is to basically just pay your way out. So prisoners residing on levels 1 to 3 will be able to pay their way out of Impel Down by paying the bounty limit of the level. So for example, level 1 prisoners will have to pay 5 million barriers to leave Impel Down. Players could accumulate money by fighting the various creatures on their level and also by surviving each torture segment without dying. There would be a money deposit in their cell and once they have the funds, they can pay the amount and then they will be set free from Impel Down on the small sailboat with nothing but the clothes they got arrested in, a single weapon, and some food, and will travel through the gates of justice to land on Emmy's lobby. Keep in mind, escaping this way would restart the player's bounty and barrier amount to zero, so there are consequences to this method. The second method of escaping Impel Down is being rescued by crewmates. That's right, your crewmates can come rescue you out of Impel Down. So like I said before, their crewmates, if they have some, will be notified about their capture and they can intercept the ship. Let's say that the crew either fails or just decides not to intercept the ship, well then they'd have to take on the task of infiltrating Impo down and busting out the imprisoned crewmate. Now this obviously won't be an easy process. The biggest reason for this being the fact that once again, Impo down is located in the comm belt. And just like how marine players will have to travel through the comm belt to get to Impo down, so will anyone else traveling there. So crews trying to save the crewmate will have to deal with Sea Kings attacking the ship. Now let's say that the crew makes it to Impel Down. They will have to come up with their own way to infiltrate the prison. They could literally come up with and attempt any plan they could think of, whether that's using a flying devil fruit or equipment to enter from the top, or maybe defeating some guards on one side of the prison and stealing their uniforms to walk in the prison from the entrance. Players would be able to do that. They'd have to communicate somehow with their imprisoned crewmate to find out where they're located. They'd also need the key to the cell, which could be found on any guard on the level the crewmate is in prison on. Also, keep in mind, the crew would have to deal with the tortures of the prison, along with prison guards and high ranking staff in order to reach the crewmate. Dying an impel down without being the prisoner would result in the player being respawned at the front of entrance and officially becoming a prisoner being put in the cell. So there is a risk of you being put in prison while trying to save a friend. Now, if a crew is able to successfully infiltrate the prison and bust a crew member out and escape Impel Down, then that group will be given a large bounty increase in notoriety. The announcement of their escape will be announced throughout the entire world in the game. But I bet you're wondering, so what if you don't have a crew you can count on to bust you out? What if you don't want to spend your hard-earned money to leave the prison? Well, you will most likely want to participate in what I call the One Piece Gulag. Let me explain. So as I said before, on every level except 6, about after every 10 minutes, prisoners will have to participate in their torture and would eventually end up back in their cells. 
but alongside this, about every third time the gates open, the One Piece Gulag would begin in place of the torture. The One Piece Gulag would also be available for level 6. In the One Piece Gulag, players will have to fight in a battle royale for 10 minutes until there's three prisoners standing, and those three prisoners will move up a floor to a new cell waiting for the next Gulag segment. This would keep happening until eventually they will win the level 1 Gulag and grant it freedom from Into Down. Now I know none of this stuff sounds easy, and that's because it isn't, and it definitely would suck to be put in this place, especially for a long period of time, but this is a prison, and if you get caught in a prison here, you're definitely going to be taking your time getting out, that's for sure. And keep in mind, literally all this stuff would be happening at the same time. Players will be participating in the gulag, while someone's crew is there to break them out, while someone else will also be grinding to pay their money to leave. And then, you know, on top of that you have the monsters and Magellan running around in the prison, this place would quite literally be a hell, just straight chaos. And that's just about it for how Impel Down will work in this game. Arguably the most ambitious part of this game idea, besides maybe the map itself. We have about 4 videos for this game idea left, along with a few Devil Fruit Function videos I still have in the works. So tune in to the next video where we talk about Yonkos and Warlords. Follow me on Instagram at RedXTrani. Follow me on Twitter at RedXTrani. Remember to like and subscribe for more. See you in the next one. Peace.